cobblestone laneways, colorful houses, crumbling ruins, and plenty of character, you can't help but fall in love with the city of Antigua, once a colonial capital, and now one of the best reasons to visit Guatemala. Antigua was established in uh, 1543, and it remained the capital of Guatemala until 1773. Antigua had a lot of uh, cultural activity during the colonial time. And it was considered by the authorities in Spain as important as uh, Lima in Peru or Mexico in Mexico. A World Heritage Site, Antigua is one of the oldest cities in the Americas. The location is spectacular, nestled in a valley surrounded by volcanoes. Unfortunately, that also means the city is prone to earthquakes. The massive quake of 1773 destroyed virtually everything, and that's why the Spanish decided to shift the capital to Guatemala City. But Antigua was slowly rebuilt, mostly in styles that suited the Spanish conquistadors, and with a lot of Catholic churches, one of the most important being San Francisco. San Francisco Church and Convent is considered a pilgrimage church because Brother Peter, Hermano Pedro de Betancourt, a very important person during the colonial time, uh, his remains are in that particular church, and people consider that he makes miracles. He is the final resting place of Hermano Pedro, the Franciscan monk who died in 1667, and is now being considered for canonization. Locals still come to his shrine to pray for help and guidance. You can read their notes of gratitude on the walls, some dating back decades, others more recent. Another fascinating site is the Iglesia y Convento de Nuestro Señora del Pilar de Zaragoza. And if you can't manage such a long name, the site is also known as Las Capuchinas. The convent was founded in 1736 by some nuns from Madrid. Repeatedly hit by earthquakes, it's still undergoing restoration work. Capuchinas is considered the best preserved convent in Antigua. It remains about 70% complete. The Spanish people by themselves, considering that they were just a very small group, they will never have been able to build all, all this architectural complex. The buildings were supervised and designed by important architects and engineers, but the labor came from the indigenous people. Perhaps the most striking church in Antigua is this one, La Merced. Construction began in 1548, but you guessed it, due to earthquakes, things were stop and start for nearly three centuries. The Baroque facade was finally completed in 1855. That uh, facade is considered unique in Central America. It's one of the uh, representatives of the Baroque style, done by the artisans of Antigua. It has a lot of detail work done in the technique of estuco. It looks like plaster, but it's uh, like chalk. And if you venture underground at the convent of Santo Domingo, you'll encounter the skeletons of a Dominican couple who were found buried inside the crypt with their heads facing east and their feet to the west. Santo Domingo Convent was one of the most important convents in Antigua, and it was probably the biggest. It was also the wealthiest. They really handled a lot of money. Antigua can easily be explored on foot. This is the best way to discover details, like painted doorways, which might otherwise be missed. The people are friendly and you won't get hassled, although you might be asked for a few quetzals if you take someone's photo. There are some places, though, where tourists should beware. Don't go climbing a volcano without a local guide. And ask the tourists, please, for an escort if you plan to visit the town cemetery. Apparently, thieves have been known to lie in wait for tourists. The police are very cooperative and may even drive you over and point out some of the more interesting tombs, all free of charge. You'll notice a lot of young foreigners in Antigua, 
probably because it's one of the most popular places in Latin America to study Spanish. Language schools are everywhere, and the weekly rates for one-on-one -on -one lessons are extremely reasonable. I came here to uh, learn to talk Spanish. I can read a little bit, but uh, I've never had any formal instruction, so now's the opportunity. I've signed up for three weeks, and hopefully I'll be able to speak some Spanish at least uh, at the end of that time. Central Park is the hub of Antigua's cultural life and its souvenir sales. There's always plenty of activity. It's not known for sure if this xylophone-type instrument existed in Africa before slaves brought it to Central America, but most historians will agree that marimba style of music was invented in Guatemala. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.